right, so Cyclonus. People have been asking me quite a lot to get this guy, so I finally got one. And my objective opinion and subjective opinion are very different, but we'll get into that. So this guy costs a whopping 45 bucks here, and I mean, he feels worth it. I'm gonna start with my objective opinion and then get into my subjective one so that they don't cross and it doesn't sound like I'm complaining about the figure. Objectively, this thing is awesome. It's super clean, it feels really nice. It feels like a retail masterpiece. Now my only problem with the robot mode are the knees. They just, they just kind of stink. They don't lock in, there's no stopping in one place. They just exist and float there. But other than that, the robot mode objectively looks really good. It's very on model and looks a lot better than the original deluxe from the uh, chug, the original chug line, which I currently have packed away, so I can't compare it. Sorry. The gun it comes with is pretty generic, but I love the fact that it has a cutout so that it fits in the like on the in the hand and on the arm. It's really cool. The angles are crisp and the curves are on point. The light piping is freaking amazing. He looks awesome next to other G1 redo figures, and I'm super happy with it. But here's my subjective opinion on this. I don't have much to say about this personally. It's a good figure, but I'm just not vibing with it. I don't know. It's just to me I just find it a little bit boring. It's too clean for me Like we all love a clean transformer But I think it has to do with the fact that I've been getting a lot more older figures recently And I've just been so used to that that this feels off It's still a very good figure, but to me personally I just don't connect with Cyclonus. But then again, I get figures like Warpath and I love it. So I'm hyped up for pipes, but something like this, eh. Like I have no attachment to the character, like I said, which is why I never intended on getting it before, but so many of you asked me to get it. So I, I ended up doing so. It does look good. I say it's worth it for sure. But personally, like I said, I just don't vibe with the bot mode. He stands tall, like modern day leader class tall. Posing is great too. He has all the joints you want and a bit more. I wasn't expecting a waist joint and he had one, which is super great. The wrist swivels on mine are pretty stiff. So the arms kind of untab all the time, but that's just a, your mileage may vary. Transformation feels like the deluxe, but very different. It's honestly fun and I enjoy the transformation. The jet mode is my favorite part of this figure. I'm displaying this in jet form. I love how it looks. It's so sweet. It's a sleek jet that can I can totally see being a depth charge if you flip it backwards. It's a long jet too. It's like impressively long. I like it a lot. The wings are crisp, the cockpit's sharp, and it just beats the deluxe in my opinion, especially the back because this actually stays together. In the end, I do recommend it, but again, I don't love it. It's kind of bland to me, but for G1 fans and G1 purists, this is a perfect pickup for you. Like I would totally recommend getting this. Ooh, voice crack. Thanks for watching though. That's been my look at Cyclonus. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.